Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am the Sarcastic Barman and welcome to my channel. We fully recovered from our anti-vax episode, the headache the day after was fucking horrendous. And today we're looking at how Anfield Football Stadium proves that the earth is flat. Yeah, it's as stupid as that. But we'll crack on with the video and we'll see what this fucking idiot's got to say. Oh, what the fuck? You're not going to talk over your video, you're just going to leave text. <sighs> oh, this is this is no fun. People don't like reading. Ugh. Right, fine, we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll, we'll do some technical wizardry. Before starting, I would like to make my position clear regarding two issues which are often raised in the comments. See, isn't that better? Now no one has to read, apart from me. Damn it. Number one, loss of objects. At long distances, we lose objects at the horizon bottom first. The glow of the Earth explanation is that this is a physical phenomenon where the hard horizon blocks our view over the curve. The flat Earth explanation is that this is an optical phenomenon where objects converge to a vanishing point, distort and eventually disappear, all due to the natural limitation of our eyes or cameras. But it only happens at the bottom. This footage clearly demonstrates that the loss of objects is an optical phenomenon and not because of a physical curve. Number two, refraction. The globe was successfully introduced into mainstream science by reverse engineering the optical effect of the vanishing point into a physical curve which roughly matched actual observations at the time. Wonderful that, isn't it? New observations are now exposing the fudge and in order to account for this, the notion of standard refraction has been promoted which claims that light bends over the curve, thus effectively increasing the Earth's radius to fit the new observations. No, really. Currently, the standard is 7.6 times Earth radius, but I fully expect this to be increased upwards of 4 thirds? So 1 and... 4 thirds! Fuck's sake. As further observations expose the lie. I do not acknowledge standard refraction, and encourage others to question any curve calculator which claims that this is a truth. Well, you're an idiot. Yep, so we, uh, we gave up on trying to do a Welsh accent for that, as funny as I found it. It's it's impossible to say phenomenon in a South Wales accent. I struggle to say phenomenon many way. I don't know why, but I do. But this guy doesn't believe in refraction, so he can basically ignore this whole video because that's going to be one of my biggest points. But hopefully there'll be a picture there. Yeah, that sounds right. Showing light bending in water. Oh, Penryn Bay. I grew up near there. Well, I grew up in Clondon, you know, the other side of the Little Orm. So, yeah, I know the area relatively well. Uh, 84 feet sounds a little bit high, but I'm, I'm not going to really argue with you there. You've given the numbers. So, yeah, whatever. But I'm sorry, that music's got to go. It fucking sucks balls. <laughs> Three hundred and thirty-five feet tall. How? What? How tall do you think fucking Anfield Stadium is? What the fuck, dude? Right, we had a bit of a check. There should be a picture here, here. Ah, fuck. One of these sizes is a picture. Um, we had a check. The ground around the stadium is about two hundred foot. It's just over two hundred foot at the back. It's one hundred and ninety odd foot at the front. So yeah, and we found the stadium was actually about seventy-five, eighty foot tall so that's what i've used in my measurements if i wish i'd used 335 could i fucking get an even bigger result but yeah let's have a look at that
Oh, that, that's strange. Um, refraction's not real, but there's a strange sort of mirage effect at the bottom of those pictures. Almost as if the light from other higher bits was coming over, but the bits from the bottom wasn't for some reason. It's very odd. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. It's a bit odd, is that, isn't it? Um, I wonder what that could be. Um, now, this is where it's a shame, because we've got a great clip for Gravity, you fucking moron, but um, I don't think I'll do it justice. Well, we'll give it a try. It's fucking refraction, you fucking dickhead. It's not as good as the Gravity one. Do you know what? That goes on for fucking ages, panning along the fucking horizon at buildings which are tall enough to be viewed over the fucking horizon with refraction. Now, for anyone who doesn't believe me, have a look at this! Ta da So, here we have our use of the curve calculator. So, 275 foot for the stadium, there we go. Over that distance, standard refraction, look, you can see some of it. What's more interesting is Liscard House, just to the right of it. So we gave that a height of 191 foot. So you might think, oh, but it's taller than the stadium. Yeah, it's actually three miles closer, which is quite interesting. Because of how the Mersey's obviously were helping refract the light more, that extra moisture in the air, the extra buildings around the stadium, changing the air temperature, you're getting a different amount of refraction, hence why the stadium is then looking bigger. Under his model of there is no refraction, things just disappear bottom up, it's quite nice because that should be bigger. It's several miles closer, but as we look back to his clip, it's not. It's a lot smaller. So, great point for us, shit point for him. God, this is tedious. It's a nice view, though. But he goes on for a while. So, movie magic, let's skip a bit ahead. Do, do, do. Now, I have my one big problem with this. You keep saying, yes, they're all disappearing into the vanishing point. They're getting smaller and shrinking. But they're fucking not getting smaller and shrinking, are they? Because the stuff at the top is still quite visible. It's almost as if something was blocking them from the fucking bottom. And you're just going to say, it's the vanishing point. Well, that just sounds like bollocks and I don't like my boat being rockness to me. Shit, he's finished his video. Very sorry about that. I was enjoying the new tunes. So, let's be fair. 
He's just ignoring all forms of refraction, whether we be done in water or whether it's the fact that telescopes suffer from this problem and that's why they like being housed up on top of mountains because of less atmosphere, or whether the fact they like being in space even more to get even better pictures. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, in his world, objects disappear bottom up first because they melt into the vanishing point. Um, I don't know how he can use angular resolution because... Yes, they're getting smaller, but they're not disappearing altogether smaller, are they? They're still just disappearing from the fucking bottom. You fucking, fucking retard. Oh, I don't like using that word very often, but in this case, it just applies. He's obviously a fucking Nathan follower, because this is his answer for fucking everything as well, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did, apart from not being able to drink for this one. Always fun. Um, but if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You know all that jazz by now. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the video, really. Uh, more, my last thing. Big shout out to Marvel Girl. Fucking amazing job, love. Uh, last I saw, well over a thousand subscribers and still kicking it hard. Well done to you. It's well deserved. And yeah, hoping to see uh, lots and lots of videos from you. Anyway, I am the Sarcastic Barman. Thank you very much and good night.